COVID convos, COVID convos. Welcome to the first episode. I didn't even tell you the title. The first episode of COVID convos. Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's hopefully a very short-lived uh, interview show where we're okay. connecting with uh, all my favorite people who are under quarantine. The show is purely for me to uh, talk with my friends um, who are all over the world. Um, and uh, Trina, you are, where, where are you right now? You're in the, the Bronx, correct? Yeah, I'm in the Bronx. Okay, very nice. Uh, um, I would also just like to note, I am not under quarantine. I am practicing social distancing. Why aren't you under, are, are you an essential worker? No, no, no. I am, so quarantine is when you know that you've been exposed. Well, I'm just then, in isolation. Well, then there's a lot of people who think I have COVID because I've been using the word quarantine very loosely. I had no idea. That's I, think, I think it's interchangeable. I think, I think generally people use it that way. Well, the other, the but other, I'd the, just like to be clear. <laughs> the, uh, no, no, the other purpose of the show is to have factual information. This all started when I got very upset when I just see nonsense uh, on the news and other stuff. And so I wanted to have fun conversations with people who I like um, yeah. and then talk about uh, all this stuff. So um, before we jump into all the questions, uh, Trina, you and I know each other for a couple years now. You're a fantastic comedian. Um, you you have my a day. wonderful show in Brooklyn called The Mixed Kids Show. How, uh, how are things going before Corona? Everything's going, it's, it's a fun show. It's so much fun. So yeah, I have Joe and I, actually April. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. I mean, listen, there are worse things in the world. People are literally dying. So like, let me stop being a dramatic Jewish person. Um, but <laughs> like, oh, everything's a nightmare. Um, so the show, we started it in April of 2018, me and Joe Miles and at Crystal Lake in Williamsburg. And it's been great. And it's, it's so much fun. And, and we always book just shows that we'd want to see like comics that we love. So we know it's going to be a good show. And, um, we had to cancel the March one, which was on Joe's actual birthday. Like it was about to be a crazy extravaganza on March 18th and we had to fucking cancel it. Well, the last show that I went to uh, was your birthday and you very bravely uh, did a roast for you. And uh, many of your friends said some things that got groans and but <laughs> big claps in the world. Um, I love it, drag me. I love it, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, okay, so we're going to do, and again, this is the first one, so uh, if this seems uh, out of control and mismanaged, it's because it is. Um, the, we're going to ask a couple quarantine questions, because uh, it is the COVID combo. First question, if it wasn't called the COVID combo, what would be a good name for this show? <laughs> Can you think of a, a show? I should email these questions to people before doing them. Corona yeah. chat. Corona chat. Um, something about the fact that it's COVID-19 where it's like, she's legal boys or like, I don't know, something. <laughs> You're, you took a disease where people are, <laughs> this is, we haven't had this type of, uh, uh, separation in our country since 1918 with the Spanish flu and you found the way to make it about a stripper. Um, a webcam series, yeah. A webcam series. Uh, that has been one of the, I was going to ask, what's the best, what's the hardest part of the quarantine for you right now? The hardest part of the quarantine. Or even something um, surprising where you're like, I didn't think that would bug me. Hmm. I guess just like the uncertainty i'm a planner i have a virgo moon it'll mean something to someone listening even if it means nothing to you um i have a it, like just the unpredictability the almost the seeming like i i also have a thing with control so just like not being in control like i've i've never wanted things from the supermarket more than i do right now <laughs> i'm just like why yeah um what has been what has been the best part of the quarantine? What's been something you're like, this doesn't suck? Okay, so here's what doesn't suck. Being in my house, uh, like being the biggest couch potato without guilt. Uh, so like, I know a lot of comedians, and, and of course I miss comedy, of course I miss stand up, 
and and my podcast shout out to tres veces like not recording the, the podcast the bottom. yeah please <laughs> like and subscribe and write and review <laughs> so also if i'm gonna keep plugging so like yeah not doing the mixed kids monthly comedy show which is free in brooklyn every month or the casa bx show so me and shadi diaz do you know shadi i do know shadi so me and Shadi run a uh, monthly in the Bronx too, which was canceled in March. So of course I miss everything about it, but it's almost like, and I don't know if you get this way, but it's like, if there is a night where I'm just like, listen, I just don't have it in me. Like my tank oh, is yeah. empty. It's like, you almost feel guilty though for not like yeah. going out and like doing the things. But bro, I have finished Mandalorian I started watching that crazy tiger shit, yo. That's Why is everyone crazy. watching that? All I've seen today are my friends putting on fake mullets, which apparently they had before the quarantine, <laughs> don't have enough toilet paper, and then stuffed tigers, which everyone apparently has, and them just taking pictures of them with their wives' blouses on. Okay, so I've only seen the first uh like 15 minutes because then my friend sent a group chat like we're gonna do netflix party and watch it together so i was like okay i'll wait um apparently this guy has two husbands an icon right it's like this gay zookeeper in oklahoma it's, someone ended up getting killed they thought it was him like it was he's, he's what mike pence thinks would have happens with homosexuality he's right, what exactly. mike pence thinks being gay is Worst case scenario. Yeah, he's like, see? and tigers. See? <laughs> we let these gays get married. Tigers will be murdering people. Um, exactly. Shout out to Mike Pence. Uh, no. <laughs> Fuck him where he breathes. Who's in charge of this? Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with that one. I agree uh, feeling, being lazy, but also being okay with it. Um, yeah. But the Netflix party uh, leads us into our next question. Uh, do you have any tips? This is one of the reasons why I want to make the show also was I was talking with people and they all had ideas of like good delivery companies or good grocery stores like Wegmans, shout out to Wegmans, with very wide aisles and it's a good place to go get food if you're nervous about being too close to people. Do you have any tips for people who are uh, locked in right now, especially if they're in the city? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, and then moving on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, uh, like, tip, I haven't, so I, my dad has been, so in a strange role reversal, my father has been the one who's been going out for everything because he won't stay in the house. Like, I'm not telling him to go. Gotcha. He's just like, I got to get some air. And, like, storming out of the house. So I'm like, grab some ginger and tomatoes. So your so that's tip my would be delivery. to have a very, very uh, insecure father who cannot stay inside for a while. And must prove a point to COVID-19. She's legal, boys. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm not going to let this bitch get me. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, here's, I was proud of this question. If you, so we're on day four of the technical lockdown here in New York City. I think day four, right? I've been home for two weeks. Okay. Well, uh, so you've been home for two weeks. I think I've been about the same. Uh, if you knew this was as bad as it was going to be, what would you have grabbed and what would you have done differently? Oh, shit. Uh, well, I know I just mentioned it. I would have gotten way more ginger. Um, but it doesn't last so long. I don't know. I, oh, I could have put it in the freezer. Yeah, I would have gotten more ginger because I am uh, Caribbean and ginger cures everything. Absolutely. Um, so. Here to hear first, hmm. people. If you have Corona, ginger cures it. Ginger, you peel it, you slice it fresh, you boil it, you squeeze lemon, Hold on, you so push. Stupid people might be watching. Honey. That's not true. That's not true at all. That's Please don't. True. It'll get rid of. It'll get rid of a bad cold. Maybe like mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. but. If you no, have, not for the COVID. Not for the COVID. COVID go on. see a doctor. What am I, fucking World Health Organization? Give me a break. You knew that wasn't true, guys. I Well, some people are dumb. <laughs> uh, this segment is brought to you by Newport Cigarettes. Whether you really like that menthol taste or you're the one white kid at Howard University, be sure to enjoy a Newport cigarette. Newports. Um, okay, so we took, that was a uh, clip from our sponsor. Uh, Newport cigarettes for when it's That's the right. end of the world. 
why not end with a port in your mouth? Um, okay, so right now we're gonna do a list of, it's a very weird time. We're gonna do a list of weird questions that I wrote earlier today. Trina, are you ready to answer some weird questions? I'm, I'm so excited. This is the most excitement I've had in two weeks. You don't need to overthink these. It's just whatever your heart tells you. Your heart, <laughs> your chest, which might be filled oh of COVID. Um, God, no! <laughs> This, okay, go. this this shows also wildly inappropriate towards terminal diseases. Um, okay, what out of any sport, what sports mascot would you most likely want to date? If the sports oh. mascot uh, was a person with a personality, who do you think would be a good date? Oh, hmm. Doesn't even need yeah. to be your favorite team. No oh. New York allegiance needed. No, yeah, no, no way. Um, what, what, cause what is a Yankee? Um, uh, Great well, question. probably, probably. A, a Yankee is someone who fist fights uh, on someone else's front lawn. <laughs> I like that guy. Mm -hmm. No, I think probably like, um, the first thing that's coming to mind is uh, Blackhawks, right? Or not Blackhawks. Well, you do like black guys, so. Uh, <laughs> wow. Trina's, Trina's Wait, no. <laughs> Is that who they are? The Chicago hockey team. The the yeah, they're the Blackhawks. Their mascot's a Native American. Uh, yeah, I'm with that shit. I'm with that okay. shit. Yeah. Trina's down with the first people. If you Fuck are yeah. a fan watching right now uh, and you are a first person, hit her up. A first uh, person in the first person. And you guys have a reduced taxation on tobacco, so she'll be all about that also. Ah, you, damn! You know my secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, which musician? or band, would you feel most confident about opening a small business with? Hmm. Um, Nas. 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 See, you know what? I'm gonna ask that question. I bet you'll get uh, a lot of rappers because rappers do have a very um, business savvy, that's part of the art almost. Yeah. Business savvy uh, uh, feel and uh, personality. Oh, that's a good. Um, that's a good one. Okay. okay. Um, which superhero would you most be okay quarantined with? Oh, Logan, Wolverine. Yes. Let me get that. Yeah. I didn't say it had to be sexual, but it very quickly became no. sexual. In a quarantine, first of all, he can't get sick. He heals continuously. Oh, so, so I, you, you were thinking, you were thinking, uh, survival. No, no, I was thinking sex and oh, chest okay. care. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but also he can't get me sick and I could send him out for everything. I could send him for all the ginger, <laughs> Logan, all day. Amazing. Next. <laughs> okay. So now. How about you? Okay, okay, go. Oh, I know. I should probably answer these. Um, my mascot would probably be, uh, the Seahawks. Um, <laughs> I think a Seahawk sexy. Uh, as far as the birds go. Um, and then I would, uh, 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 I probably would go rapper also when it comes to small business. Um, yeah, probably small. Uh, I, oh, you know what? I'd go with the Beastie Boys. I think the Beastie Boys as a team, even just the two of them now, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I think I think I would, uh, they would be good to be with. And when we tried to sell things, it, they would we would all rhyme it together. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. be like, we're about to do business reports. And we'd all say reports at the same time. And it'd be very cool. Uh, yeah, so you'd be like this in the camera. Like, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Um, and then superhero, I'd go Tony Stark, but that's more of, I'd go Iron Man, but it's more of because of all the things that he has. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't mean- Clearly, doesn't you mean, know what's on my mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I like that mine wasn't sexual at all. Um, okay. Uh, and by how much do you think the divorce rate is going to go up when this all settles over? Yo, that shit is going to be through the roof, bro. This, it should be required to be in vows now when people are like, till death do you part. Also, would you be really cool if you guys couldn't leave the house for three weeks? Yeah. And you know what? And I, well, let me say this, because I was actually on the phone with a friend yesterday who was like, yo, Matt, like so many of my boys are just like 
waiting for this shit to be over because they are 100% breaking up with their girl. Yeah, but and, they can't go anywhere. But they can't go anywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, no, like, as soon as this is over, like, right now they're chilling, but as soon as this is over, they're going to be like, hey, we got to talk. Now that you can leave the house, you should leave the house. Um, but the thing is, I think it's unfair. I'll be honest. I think it's unfair because I don't think any two humans can yeah. be nonstop in each other's faces. So it's not fair. Yeah, it's not an accurate portrayal of uh, love or a relationship, or it's just a really tough situation um, yeah. that we will endure somehow. Okay, so for the- this segment was brought to you by Sports. Bet you didn't think you'd miss them this much. Sports. Hoes are going to find out about each other because already at that point, and this is real. Like, two different dudes were like, yo, so if we get quarantined, like, are you going to quarantine with me? And I was like, ah, ah, I have a family. I have to stay home. That's, there is, you, there also is definitely some people who thought this won't be that bad. You and I could hook up for a couple nights. That'll be fun. And then realize, like, They're like, I fundamentally dislike you as a person. And this was a grave mistake. I'm sure I'm going to ask somebody that question of, if you knew this was this long and going to be this bad, what would you do differently? And they're going to be like, I would have crashed at someone else's house. Yeah. I mean, listen, you can leave. You just got to be careful. Yeah. What's the, yeah. Yeah. What's the, well, um, yeah, New York City, and we'll, we'll cut this part into the front. New York City has high numbers, unfortunately. Um, we have a high population, um, and that's probably why. Um, but yeah, this has been the first episode of COVID Convos. Um, Trina, thank you so much for being the first guest. Um, if you, we're going to obviously put all of your stuff underneath, uh, but if there's anything you want to plug that people should be listening to or check you out on, go. At this point, the only thing we got rocking still is the Tres Beches podcast. So that's on Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, uh, which is also iTunes, perhaps. Um, So, yeah, that's about it. You can still catch us there. We're on episode, like, 15. Cool. Um, And uh, thank you for watching the first episode of COVID Combos. Uh, This will not – this will hopefully be a very short-lived series because we don't want this to go on any longer than it is. Um, but, uh, on an optimistic note, this will not be forever. It just feels like it. Um, be safe, stay inside and, um, use hand sanitizer. Stay inside, but pull out. Stay (laughs) Stay inside, but pull out. Stay inside, but pull out. Oh, God. I'm so glad. I'm so honored. Can I just say, I do have some last things to plug. My love for you. My <laughs> love for you. I oh. love you so much. I'm so honored to be the first guest. Well, when you sent me, you were like, hey, I'm doing this thing. You want to do it? I was like, all cap block. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, you were a great guest. And hopefully, uh, we'll have you back on. But on the next show I'm doing called uh, We Can Go Outside Now. That's the next one. That's yeah. the next one I want to do. <laughs> we, yeah. we can hug each other now. Yeah. Um, but thank you again. Um, thank you. And I am just going to stop the recording. But That was another episode of COVID Convos. Hopefully a very short-lived series. Be sure to look at all of the links to GoFundMes below to help us raise money for comedy clubs and wait staffs and other very important causes while we all kind of lock in together. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for another episode of COVID Convos.